In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated domain for your email sending. And the reason you're going to do this is because right now, when you send from Group Fuel CRM, it is going to look like it's coming from my domain. So we want to make it look like it's coming from your domain. So to do that, we have to set up a dedicated domain in your account. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to Settings. And then we're going to go to uh, Email Services. Where is it? Email Services. And then I am going to set up a dedicated domain. So I'm going to click on dedicated domain. And then I'm going to add a domain. I'm just going to make it email.groupfuel.io. You can make this whatever you want, but it's basically a subdomain. So you're going to have to put something at the beginning, dot, and then your domain. All right, then I'm going to click on add and verify. And then we're going to set up these DNS records in your hosting account. So whatever you host your uh, email, I mean your website on, you're going to go and you're going to log into that account. I host mine in Google Domain, so I'm going to log into my account. And then I'm going to go to my domains. And then I'm going to go to the domain that I'm adding the, do the dedicated domain to. So I'm going to click on Manage there. And then I'm going to go to the DNS records so you got to find this in your hosting account and then i'm going to click on manage custom records and then i'm going to create all of these different dns records so the first one i'm going to create is this email dot group fuel and so i'm going to copy the value here so i can just click on this copy and then if i go to my dns records i'm going to put email and you can see that it's just creating email dot group fuel dot io this is typically how this works uh, your hosting might be a little bit different, so uh, but I'm just putting in the email part of this uh, host, host name. So I've got the actual record copied by copying this, and then this is going to be a text file. So I'm going to go back, or a text record. So I'm going to go to, and find TXT, and then I'm going to set this as low as possible, so 10, and then I'm going to paste in the value that I copied, okay? And then I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to create another record. I guess I could have created them all at the same time, but uh, let's go back and do manage records. Now I'm going to create another record. So let me just do this, create new record. And then I'll go back here and then I'm going to copy this one. And then I've got to create this part of it. So, and this is going to be a text record also. So we're going to do text, txt. And then I'm going to make this as low as possible. I'm going to paste this in. And then I'm going to grab the first part of this here, copy it, and then I'm going to go into my DNS record, paste that in, and then we'll create another record. And this one is going to be a CNAME record, so I'm going to copy the value here, and then I'm going to paste that in. This is going to be a CNAME record, so I select CNAME, paste in the value there, make this as quick as possible and then I'm going to copy this part and I'm going to paste this in make sure if you paste it in and it puts some space in ahead of it then you need to delete that out I'm not sure why it did that so I'm going to create another record and this is going to be an MX record so I'll copy that um, this is going to be in type MX, and then I'm going to paste the value in. I'm going to make this as short as a time period as possible, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy the first part of this, which is going to be email. So I'm just going to type that in email. Okay, and then I'm going to create my, I believe, my last record. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go in. And I'm going to type this as a MX record. And I'm going to paste the value in. I'm going to make this as short as possible. And then we're going to grab the first part, which is also email. And then once I've added all of those different DNS records, hmm. Okay, so actually I need to just delete this out and this will be uh, add more to this record. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go and I'm going to do this. 
and we'll see if that works. Okay. Um, okay, invalid uh, format, mail server like 10, mail example. Let's see. Okay, so let's see if this does. If I add a 10 to before this, 10. 10. Okay. Um, not sure exactly how this works. Let me see if just taking that out and changing that to that works. Hmm. All right, let's go back here. So this is going to be MX record, MXA, not verified. Okay. Actually, let me quit this and I'm going to go save this. I'm glad this happened because if this happens to you, you can fix it. So I'm going to go and look at my other DNS record that I set up and see how I did that previously. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to all my domains. I'm going to go to go high ticket now. And then I'm going to go to the DNS records. And then let's see how I'd set that up previously. Okay, so I did 10, okay, 10 space, okay. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to set that up the right way. So I'm going to go back to my domains, and I'm going to do group fuel, and then I'm going to go to DNS records, and then I'm going to manage my custom records, and I'm going to recreate these two um, records. So the first one is going to be email. It's going to be type MX. And we're going to set that to 10 minutes, paste in the value here, A, and then I'm going to do 10 space. And then I believe I need to add more to this record and just add that 10B space. Okay, so 10 space, and this is how you're going to set these up. Let's see if that works. It looks like it's going to work. All right, great. So we've got all those DNS records set up. Now let's actually go back to the tool and let's click verify domain and see if all that got verified. Okay, so we got most of them verified except for this first one. And that should come soon. Okay, so now everything is verified. We've got our dedicated domain set up. And now when we send email from this account, it will look like it's coming from email at dot, at dot groupfuel dot io as the domain so when people reply to it this is what they're going to reply to so that is how you set up a dedicated domain so that you can send email and it looks like it's coming from your domain okay if you have any questions please let me know